Hey everybody, it's Kim the Crafty Nomad and I am back for our second wrap session Wednesday. <laughs> Thanks for joining me. I'm um, just cleaning off my glasses so I can see y'all. Uh, but uh, welcome to uh, everybody who is returning. Thank you for uh, always supporting. Thank you for the comments. Thank you for the suggestions and uh, the support in general. And thank you for everybody who is new coming over. I want to say a special thank you to everyone who came over from Rose uh, of Rose Likes Crochet's uh, Facebook page, as well as especially to Rose for giving me a shout out on her Facebook page. I've definitely seen a jump in the subscribers and family members, and I'm uh, very, very grateful uh, for that. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope that you guys, uh, stick around. I hope that the content that I provide is, is something that is edifying for you. Um, I do this for fun. Um, I do it for my own self edification, but I also, uh, hope that I am adding value, uh, to your lives as well. Uh, just by, um, share what I'm doing, whether it's a project that inspires you or something that I might say, um, anything. I'm just uh, glad to be here and I want to say thank you. So let's get started uh, with this wrap session. Let's see if my glasses got clean enough for me to see you. Uh, well, I see something. All right. So uh, the wrap session, this is all about um, and me trying to wrap up some of those old, uh, long languishing whips. And the very first, uh, thing that I brought out to show you that I brought out to work on is also my project for the make along that is hosted by me, Kim the Crafty Nomad, and my East Coast partner, Miss Christy from, uh, Crochet Creations by Christy. We do a show uh, once every four weeks or so um, called Hook and Stitch Live with Kim and Chris, and we do quarterly make-alongs. All of the video content is on my channel, um, and our next uh, episode is coming up, I believe, on January 22nd, so stay tuned for that, um, but all of the make-alongs are actually hosted on Chris's Facebook page, which I will link down below. So this uh, make-along is called the It's a Wrap um, make-along. And so um, I'm using my Wednesdays, my wrap sessions to talk about all of my um, languishing whips. But the one that I'm specifically doing for that make-along it's my minute, uh, mile a minute project. So let me show you. Uh, the last time we talked, I had shown you all the green, uh, the green colorway strips are completed. So I was working on the strips for the, um, for the blue turquoise uh, colorway. So let me pull those out. And everything is in one of these giant bags that I made and uh, just for blanket projects and so what I did is I went ahead and took the um, all the green strips I went to getting them mixed up and I put them I have one of them out because I was trying to find my older soft white so I could compare it to the soft white that I just got but anyway so this is all the green strips and I never apologize for, for crinkling because I like crinkling. All right. So that was in soft white tea leaf and thyme. Red Heart Super Saver, everything. And then um, here is the bag that has all of the, the turqu turquoise and real teal in there. So when we last talked... I had two of them completed. And the ends have to be woven in. Um, so two of them was completed. One of them was partially completed. Well, that one is now completed. So I have three of these fully done. There are going to be five of each colorway. Sorry for shaking and everything. 
And so what I've done is I have, st I got two, the last two with the first two rounds on it. Uh, or it's, they're not really rounds and you back and forth really until you get to the very last one. So I've got these last two uh, strips, the center strip and then the next layer on two. And these are the last two for this colorway. The next step is to add the soft white. So what I just decided to do was just get everything for the colorway to this same point and then start adding the soft white on both and then doing the final round on both and then I'll be finished. So I got that done. In the meantime, in between time, the third colorway, you guys know, is orchid, dark orchid, and soft white. So I went ahead and got the, um, just the center strip done for, uh, the, uh, orchid, dark orchid colorway. Now, um, did I cut it already? I finished, no, I did, uh, nope, I just undid it. So, no, I did not finish it off yet. Um, I was questioning whether or not um, this was as long as the others, but I'm not going to worry about it because the thing is, it is what it is. <laughs> and we will make it work. So, I did undo it. So, I'm going to go ahead and uh, put the, that last cluster back. So, what I learned is um, counting is a really hard thing when you have to chain so many. And I had to chain uh, the initial 203. And I just kept messing it up and having to start over. So, uh, all right. So, that shouldn't come out now. So, Orchid... And just, it's going to be soft white as well. And then the dark orchid is that one. Okay. So that's where I stand. And that's my progress on, um, on the mile a minute. Now, um, what was I saying? So, oh, I was having trouble with that chain of 203. So, I finally got smart and started using stitch markers where I um, actually, every 50, I would put in a stitch marker and ugh, it made all the difference. I don't know why it took me this long as a crocheter to understand uh, the need for stitch markers when you make these long chains, but and maybe I knew it and forgot it, but that is that for that project. So I'm getting ready to start on the last colorway. I think this is gonna be finished well before um, the end of the quarter. So, because I gotta do just five strips in the last colorway, uh, finish up the two uh, strips in the second colorway, and then start sewing it together. And so, uh, what I'm going to, I'm hopefully gonna do is once I get one of these, um, once I start getting the purple colorway done, I'm going to start doing them together. And I think what we're going to do is um, the blue, then the purple, and then the green. I think that the turquoise, the purple, the green, the turquoise, the purple, the green. And I'm going to use the soft white to join it all together, I believe, unless I change my mind. But I think that's how it's going to go. Although, because my couch is gray, I could use a gray. And I have a big ball of uh, Lion Brand uh, Pound of Love in a, in a gray colorway. So that might be what I do. We'll see what I decide. Uh, the, the gray is sounding appealing the more I think about it. So I, I, that's probably what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull out the gray and put it next to the colorways and see how I feel. Because it's a darker gray, I think. I've had it for a while, but I know it's in there. I've been Because I've been searching for different yarns. So I've been coming across all of my things that I have. And uh, so, yeah. 
that is the uh where we're at on that project uh for this rap session now uh like i said i think i'm gonna finish that way before um the quarter is over and so i pulled out some other things that i will be working on during our rap sessions because honestly even though the make along is going to be over by the end of the quarter the uh need to work on long languishing whips will not end so i'm gonna show you what i pulled out and i forgot to bring the book uh, but anyway look at my bag i got this bag from an instagram friend of mine um her name is uh her instagram name is birdie and poppet and i also think that's the name of her etsy shop which i will link down below but she had these big bags available and let me show you her yeah there you go her name is uh gill and i always don't know if it's jillian or gill or gill which is pronounced with the uh hard g or soft g but anyway I got this from her. I just, when she put this up on Instagram, I was like, I gotta have one. And there's just certain uh, bag makers I have to have a bag from. Even though I have a million bags and I make bags myself, I wanted that granny square uh, fabric. All right, so in this bag, and, and look it, it's lined with uh, almost a batiki tie-dye looking green on the inside it's great and it's super big and it's a perfect bag for amigurumi so i was making this peacock and you see i got pretty far i was trying to make it for stephanie from stephanie's yarn escape was doing last year and she's doing again this year attack of the amigurumi i heard on um freeze baby frolic uh live yesterday i watched the replay that somebody else is doing amigurumi wars which i hadn't heard but anyway stephanie from stephanie's yarn escape is doing uh attack of the amigurumi she started it last year in an effort to increase her own skills and uh it's fun to join her when you can when i can and i forgot what month this was for but it's peacock this is from a uh, zoomy gurumi book that I didn't bring over here, but I'll pull it out, take a picture, and put it somewhere around in here or cut away to it so you can see it. But this is how far I got, and then I just stuck. And I also have at least two of the plumes done. Let's see what else I have. Yeah, I got two plumes done, and another plume started, and that's it. So I'm using uh, this, I believe it's the same, might be the same, let's see, no, this is, I think this is uh, impeccable, this yarn I think is impeccable, um, I don't think it's red hard, well, it could be, so let me compare it, mm. oh, it might be the red hard, no, I can't tell. I can't remember what I use. I think it's actually the Red Heart, though, the uh, Real Teal. And this is some kind of, I think, an impeccable, because I had a bunch of this color. So I think I thought I was going to make a uh, sweater, so I have tons of this all around. And then just probably soft white or white. And so my Mega Ruby eyes. So the plumes are for the back of them, and then there's plumes for the head. So I'm using for all the plumes, this light green is big twist value in the color way, probably lime, right? Yeah, lime. And then I got, I'm hoarding these. I like these so much. Um, Red Heart Super Saver in the colorway Banana Berry will also be some of the plumes. And I think maybe some of the teal again. I'm not sure. But anyway, so I pulled that guy out so he could be a part of the rap session. Um, as I And so we could keep, a, keep it not so boring, right? Okay. So then the next thing is I was looking. I, I, I was like, I have got to look hard for my soft white. Because even though you saw I hauled some new soft white, I was still concerned about whether or not um, 
the soft white, uh, they look different. Some It depends on the light. When I was in Walmart buying them, they look so different. And so you guys commented and said a lot of different things, a lot of helpful things. Uh, but I said, oh, let me find my soft white. I know I must still have some around because when I bought the yarn, for that blanket and it was for a different project but that yarn was all bought at one time directly from the website and i also bought the soft white so i'm like i know i have three bottles of it around here somewhere um unless i've just used it because this has been in the making for years but i don't use a lot of white so um anyway i just went looking for it and i thought i found it Somewhere around here, I'm going to put up some footage of, uh, and I'll let you know, you know, what I think after finding what I thought was the soft white and all that. But anyway, in the process of all of that, I ended up, like, coming across a bunch of uh, half-used balls of stuff that were all tangled up. So I spent the better part of an hour untangling and rewinding a lot of balls of yarn. Um, and so I found this project, so this is going to be frogged, but look, so sometimes on the wrap sessions, it's going to be wrapped by being frogged. <laughs> it's going to be wrapped up by being frogged. So this was, this was a YouTube tutorial for a sampler blanket. And I, you know, the, the designer who I cannot remember was, uh, using a different color for every row but you guys know i don't like to weave in ends and so i decided to use a bernat pop cake in the cup the bernat pop i think it's bernat pop but it's it's uh butterscotch was the colorway so i had bought a bunch of them from i think either hershner's or it was one year i just treated myself which i tend to do after christmas because I usually have some type of gift card, you know, for my birthday or or um, for Christmas. And so I just treat myself. Or I've just been spending so much money that I don't feel bad about <laughs> spending something. Anyway, I had this big order, a couple big orders that year. I think it was 2019, maybe 2020, before all the pandemic-y stuff started happening. Or that we knew we were in a pandemic. Um, so early, early 2020 or early 2019, I know it was the beginning of the year. And I ordered a bunch of these. And so I started, I was like, okay, I'm going to make that sample of blanket with the butterscotch. And I love this colorway. I love how it works up. It's so pretty. But I was struggling. Look at this. That side is not so bad. But this side over here, what was happening? I didn't like any of what was happening and this was me trying to follow a tutorial i'm not good at tutorials uh not something for like this i mean i'm i'm i could do shorter ones but really i prefer to look at a written pattern so i stopped doing this and i pulled out another cake of this and started another project which will show up on a rap session um but for this one, uh, rather than me undoing this and starting again, I just opened up a new one and started another blanket using the block stitch, which I will show you on another wrap session, okay? So for this one, we're just going we're just going to frog it, okay? So I brought that out, and that's how this is getting wrapped. It is going to get frogged, and this will be put into the other blanket. Um, yeah, that's what I'm going to do with that. So just wanted to share that with you. That one is getting wrapped up in that way. Okay. All right. So those are all the projects that I plan to show you during today's wrap session. I, I wanted to, let me see, I wrote some notes because I'm trying to be a good girl and plan these things. So I talked about my peacock. I talked about the frogging. And I talked about my mile a minute. So those are all the projects for sure. But I wanted to share with you something cool that's coming up. I'm going to be teasing some things that are coming up down the line. And I'm going to, I was going to tell you about two things. But I think today I will tell you about one. And I will save the other one for uh, the uh, Squared Up Saturday. So 
Um, I have a YouTube hop that I am coordinating. I think right now I have uh, seven creators, including myself. I hope to get three more at least. I want to have at least 10 people participate in this YouTube hop. So I am calling it a, you know, I'm using my phone, so I really can't. Um, let me see if I can pull it up on Messenger. But um, I'm calling it a seasonal, what is it? A seasonal YouTube, a yarny seasonal YouTube hop or a seasonal yarny YouTube hop. And I reached out to several content creators to ask if they would participate. I'm still waiting to hear back from a bunch of people, but at least seven of us are already committed uh, to this project. Now, let me see. Jeez. Oh, touch screens, man. If you touch the wrong thing, you just get jacked up. Um, this is getting too long. I didn't really want these to be that long. Oh, yeah. Uh, anyway, let me just tell you in general what's going to happen. So we are going to be working together throughout the year. and We will have these hops occur quarterly. So on the everybody who is participating is going to create a seasonal related project, a seasonal themed project. So for instance, our first season, our first hop will happen on the first day of of spring okay and so we're gonna do spring summer fall and winter and um so for spring the first day of spring this year is on march the 20th and on that day all of us will release a video regarding our uh project so you'll be able to hop from channel to channel and see all of our projects related to that season so i think that I've already decided what I'm going to do. I found a pattern. Um, you could do anything you want to as long as you tie it to the season. So if you're a content creator and you want to be involved with this YouTube hop, feel free to reach out to me, say something in the comments, uh, email me at the crafty nomad at outlook.com. Really, don't say anything in the comments. Email me at the crafty nomad at Outlook.com if you are a YouTube content creator and you would like to participate in this hop. Now, even if you are not one right now and you plan to be and you want to make videos, this could be your first step into becoming a YouTube content creator. Um, but you definitely need a channel if you're going to officially participate in this hop. I am inviting everybody who follows me to go ahead and also uh, participate. And if you're a part of my Facebook group, you'll be able to uh, you'll be able to um, post your seasonal projects on my Facebook group. Um, I will have a I will have a post just for this hop. Um, I also created some hashtags. Um, did I write them down? Did I write down my hashtags? Hmm. I didn't write them down here, but I have them written down somewhere. Anyway, so you can participate on Instagram as well using your hashtag. Anyway, so that is coming up. I'm super excited about it. The first time I ever, uh, I have participated in Crafty Hops. Um, I even participated in, um, on Periscope in a past the cast kind of thing where we went live one person after another. So I really enjoy those and I've been wanting to do some kind of a crochet hop and uh, crochet knitting hop. And um, so yeah, that's what we're going to do. So let me know if you're a YouTube content creator and you want to participate. I'm still looking for at least three more people. I'll go more, but I would like to have at least 10 so that on the day that we release the videos, a bunch will populate and people can just watch um, from one video to the next to the next of our seasonally themed projects. Now, uh, that's all I'm going to say about that. I'm very excited about it. Please be looking forward to it. Um, if you want to participate, pick out your project and join the Facebook group so that you can share your seasonal uh, uh, related project on that day. Um, because everything is going to get released 
on the same day. All right, so that's going to be it. That's going to be all. This was a little bit longer than I intended. Uh, but that will wrap up today's uh, Wednesday wrap session. And I will see you guys in the next video, which will be on Saturday for Squared Up Saturday. All right, until we meet again, keep it crafty, guys. Bye. So here's the soft white from Walmart. Uh, they kind of look the same in the picture. And then these are some remnants I found around the house next to them. They are actually, I think, white. Soft white from Walmart in the sunlight. Uh, more of it in the sunlight, I think. And then this is just white. Those other remnants are with the white. So I think this is just white. And finally, more soft white in the sunlight. Uh, I'm pretty sure that these are the same. <sighs> the saga continues. All right. Bye.